Cone Bonois. Good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Look at My Titan, and welcome to episode 109. Oh yeah, episode 109 of Fault 76 Blind. I started off playing it blind. Death, I still die and dumb, and I forever will be dumb. Episode 109. We are here at my crappy camp. <laughs> and as I was logging in today, collecting my free gifts, it gave me the dude... The dude from the the Brotherhood of Steel guy from uh, from the Fallout show. So I don't I don't. So here's his bag, but where is he? Is that him over there? It is! Why do they keep assigning me maintenance duty? How am I gonna make night without more combat rotations? This is so weird. This is a nice place. Never was much of a builder myself. Alright, first of all, it doesn't look like... <laughs> it doesn't look that much like him. Oh... I feel... Oh... Boy... Yeah, it do, it's it doesn't look that hey. much like him. Hey. Oh, but even worse, it doesn't sound like him, like at all. Knight Errant, I I didn't expect. I'm sorry. They didn't tell me you'd be out here. I mean, that was a little better, I guess. But his other idol MP chatter was very not like the character. Do we know each other? No. Well, you don't know me, but I've heard about you. Nothing but good things, don't worry. Initiate Del Lawson, at your service. I'm with the Brotherhood at Fort Atlas. I'm on assignment to set up a forward supply and maintenance operation. I was on the lookout for a good location and saw what you've built here. You've got everything I need to get things up and running already. Would you be willing to allow me to run the operation from here? Sure. I mean, I guess he's not supposed to actually be Maximus. Or Tiberius, depending on uh, whether he's in the armor or not. But, uh, yeah, it's because it's, it has a different name. But I, I don't know. At the same time, I feel like like it's obviously supposed to be him. I, I don't know. What exactly is it you need? Nothing. Well, use of your facilities here, actually. Uh, permission to stay and run the operation from your camp. I won't get in the way, I promise. Basically, they want me to stockpile stuff and do any maintenance required for Brotherhood soldiers that might pass through. So what, you'll be a mechanic? Will you do... Will your services be available to me, Odell? You're welcome to stay. Permission is grant, uh, granted initiate. All right, you can stay as long as you don't get away. Um, yeah, so what, you'll be a mechanic? Among other things, yeah. I've been working with Scribe Valdez a lot, doing maintenance in the armory, that kind of thing. If it's broke, I can fix it. And if I can't fix it, I've probably got something squirreled away that'll help anyway. I've also managed to put together a decent supply of weapons, ammo, armor, even some schematics if you're into doing it yourself. Schematics. That's kind of why I'm here. You've got the storage space already. I can also help out with any power armor you've got. Scribe Valdez says I've got a real knack with it. Okay. Will your services be available to me? I mean, they better be. Of course. As a member of the Brotherhood, you're exactly who I'm supposed to be helping out here. Now, I wonder how that would be if you weren't a member of the Brotherhood. And also, does he know that I'm a general of the Enclave? Um, okay, Del, you're welcome to say permission granted initiate. Sir, thank you, sir. I'll get to work right away. You won't regret it. All right, so... Does he do anything? Like, I'm so confused. Hope I'm not. Oh, oh. I'm in need of your expertise. I'd like to know more about you. Uh, have you seen much of Appalachia? Uh, sure. Absolutely. What do you need? I, I don't know. What have you got to trade? Everything a Brotherhood soldier might need on patrol in the wasteland. Okay. Let me show you. So he's a shop with no money, like Beckett. Watch your step. I might have spilled some grease around here. Sorry about that. So he's got poop. The hell is this? 
the hell is Get Rich Quick? Well, I guess I have to buy it. The waste 250 caps on whatever this is. 230 caps, I don't even know what this is. How's it going? Alright, we'll figure out what that is and... I mean... <laughs> everything else he has sucks. Oh god, he's got poop and beer and cigarettes. Everything alright? And terrible... Terrible gum. I don't... Okay. Um... Hello. I'd like to know more about you, sure. Really? Wow. Not uh, really, no. Officers don't usually take the time for casual chats. I mean, uh, they're so busy. I'm sure they would if they had the time. I just mean I appreciate you asking. What'd you want to know, sir? I... I... I don't know. Uh... Where are you from? Is still short for anything? How'd you end up with the Brotherhood? Can I ask you more about the Brotherhood? Um, is the Del short for Del Monte? Unfortunately, yeah. My first name's Elmer. Named after my mom's grandfather, apparently. Only fight my parents ever had, according to Dad. <laughs> Mom won, of course. Dad called me Del, and it stuck. Thank God. Alright, Elmer. I'd really appreciate it if you stuck with Del, sir. Um, I'm really upset that they don't have the option to call him Elmer. Um, <laughs> wait, what does the dot 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 do? Oh, oh, come on, sir. That's not funny. All right, that but they wouldn't even let me call him Elmer. I just didn't say anything. Um, where are you from? Virginia, originally. Not too far from here, but far enough it wasn't easy getting here. Never saw too much of it, actually. The settlement I grew up in was pretty sheltered. I never really went anywhere until after my parents died. Okay. Can I ask about your family? Sure thing. Anything in particular? No, I don't I don't really care. Well what are your <laughs> what were your parents? Pretty normal, like? I guess. I was born a couple of years after the bombs. Mom and dad were already living in a little settlement with other survivors by then. Dad farmed, mom was a mechanic. We had it better than a lot of folks in the wasteland. And they loved each other so much. They liked making little gifts for each other, and for me. Right up until the end. I guess maybe they were a little smothering. They didn't plan on having a kid, but once I showed up, they were thrilled. Very protective. Especially Mom. They always worried about me, tried to keep me out of any kind of danger. Heck, I wasn't even allowed to talk to the traitors who passed through town sometimes. Someone set us up the bomb? Okay, so, yeah, very different character than Maximus, so maybe that was just me uh, thinking that they, they were they were trying to, I mean, it very specifically said, hey, look, like, we have that new show, and check it out, you can get this guy who's, like, from the show, and, all right, anyway, <laughs> it's not too upsetting what happened to your parents. Did you eat them? It's all right. I, I don't mind. It's been a few years since. It was just old age and health catching up, really. I guess it hits harder now than before the war. They were pretty up there when they had me. Mom was old enough she thought kids were a closed door. Surprise! I don't remember either of them without some gray in their hair. Not even when I was a kid. Mom went first, caught a bad cold, and never really got better. Dad and I were both with her at the bedside when she passed. When she was gone, I think the spirit just went out of Dad. She was the love of his life. He went a year later in his sleep. Sorry, I'm all right. I, I still miss them. That's sad. I uh, do. I hear somebody else walking around behind me. What, why do? Why do I hear footsteps? Do you have any other family? Not that I know about, but it's not impossible. I've got some more distant relatives out there somewhere. I had a brother. He died before I was born, fighting in the war. He'd have been 44 No, Mom and Dad didn't talk about it much. Too painful. Uh, why is your mother... Was it, was, it, was it your mother who taught you to be a mechanic? Why would I jump to that conclusion? Sure was. Mom was always happiest with a wrench in her hand and grease stains on her clothes. Part of her keeping me out of trouble was putting me to work. Fixing generators, farm equipment, you know. Most of our bonding time was over disassembled engines. 
I think she liked passing on the skill. Took pride in it. No, disassemble. Johnny Five alive. How is the farm life? Quiet, mostly. Wasn't very big, just a patch big enough to grow some food and trade with the other folks in town for what we didn't have. I stuck to the mechanical stuff with Mom. Dad actually forbade me to help with the crops. He said, Del, I love you. But whatever the opposite of a green thumb is, you've got it. Green Acres is the place to be. A farm living is the okay, life sure. for me. All right. Um, how'd, uh, how'd you end up in the Brotherhood? Well, after my parents passed, I didn't have a lot of reason to stick around anymore. I'd been in one town my whole life, so I wanted to see what else was out there. Joined up with some settlers moving into West Virginia. Seemed like as good a way to do it as any. Figured I'd help fix stuff, just like back home. Well, we got here. Lost people to Scorched. Some to Raiders. And we needed farmers more than mechanics. I was as bad at that as Dad always said. Almost starved that first winter. Then the Brotherhood showed up recruiting. They needed people with technical skills. And I was just happy not to have to grow my own dinner. Can I ask you more about the Brotherhood? I don't really want to, but sure. Of course. You probably know more than me, sir, but I'll answer what I can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Didn't he... Oh, didn't he just basically tell us this? I might have already mentioned I was not cut out for farming. Can't keep a crop alive to, well, save my life. Never gonna be a raider, and I don't like living alone. Could have stayed a foundation, maybe, but when the Brotherhood came recruiting, I don't know. I guess I felt a little lost since my parents died. Joining the Brotherhood, things were simpler. Direction. Orders. The uniform's pretty good too, right? Okie dokie, so what's your role in the Brotherhood besides initiate, I mean? Well, right now it's to organize this supply and maintenance outpost, like we discussed. Thanks again for permitting it, by the way. You mean more generally though, right? Well, I'd do whatever the officers say, of course. Being an initiate and all, we're all training to become knights one day. There were only three Brotherhood who came here from California, so they need to fill out the ranks. It's funny though, most of the time they've got me working for Scribe Valdez. I suppose she needs a lot of help, being the only scribe. I'm sure they'll put me through the more intensive combat training soon enough though. Can't be a knight without that! How are you feeling in this shit after everything that's happened with the Brotherhood? Permission to speak freely, sir? Granted. I'm glad Paladin Romani's still leading us. Knight Shin. Was a he's dick? He's a good man, but he was a dick. black and white for him. Threats get eliminated. Potential threats get eliminated. I feel like he doesn't really see the point in helping people. He'll be happier back in California. I hope he makes it. Um, that's the same question. I think I've said everything I feel comfortable saying. Oh, Can I don't... we talk about something else? I don't know why it gave me the option to ask again. No problem. Uh, have you seen much of Appalachia? So, not as much as I'd like. I hear a lot of stories, and I met some folks out on patrol with the Brotherhood. Anything in particular you wanted to know? No. Oh, boy. Settlers. Oh, sure. Came into West Virginia with a group of them. The ones that are left ended up at Foundation. I've met a few folks there. Good people. Tad and Gloria, the couple who worked the stockroom, were really nice. Raiders. Not unless you count dodging bullets they sent my way. The really crazy ones, Blood Eagles, they're the bunch that hit the settlers I moved here with. I hear the Raiders up at Crater aren't as crazy, but I'm not looking to test that. I'm friendly with the ones in Crater, and I just murdered all the leaders of the Blood Eagles in the last couple episodes. What can you tell me about the Responders? Oh, the folks at the Refuge. I stopped in there for a bit before I signed up with the Brotherhood. Everyone's really kind there. I guess you have to be to do what they're doing. I hear Initiate Ellison is stationed there now. I wonder how he's doing. He's doing all right. Uh, uh, no, I don't. Why? Why does he keep trying to make me do that? Ran into much trouble here? Not too much, besides the raiders when I first moved here. But there's been a few scrapes since then on patrol with the Brotherhood. Super mutants. Stumbled across some when Night Shin took me on patrol. Feral ghouls are one thing, but super mutants talk. Hard to treat them as just monsters when you hear them talking. The whole slaughtering and eating people thing, though, makes it pretty easy to look past that, I guess. Night Shin didn't even bat an eye. Just keep me loaded, he said. Cool as a cucumber. He ran through four belts of ammo before it was over. 
Stupid human, we can smash you! I had, uh, any other exciting stories? Anything weird? Yeah, let's do weird. Let's see. This might sound crazy, but... Aliens. Ooh. Actual, real-life spacemen. It was crazy. A flying saucer and everything, right over Charleston. I couldn't believe it. There were these big machines pulsing with energy, and big-headed skinny green guys just popping in out of thin air everywhere. I was under orders to guard our camp, so... I... I didn't actually get that close. I saw everything, though. Dude, aliens are pain in the ass. I've only really dealt with them once or twice, and they... they wrecked me. Any other exciting stories? Hmm. Super mutants. Stumbled across some when Night Shin took me on patrol. Feral ghouls are one thing, okay. but super... The whole slaughtering and eating people thing. Night Shin didn't. He even said this already. Okay. Uh, um. I do. Of course, you probably know more than me. Okay. Uh. God. No problem. Uh. Yeah. All right then. Let me know if you change your mind. Uh, what the hell is the point of him then? Do you have any quests or anything? Oh. Hello. Absolutely. Oh what do you know? So. <laughs> so you put him here for what though? He's just pointless. I don't understand. Alright, I feel like he's pointless. So, I mean, if he just stands here, can I scrap this? No. Can you move away from your giant sack, please? Sir? Did I forget a holiday? <laughs> That's quite an outfit. Sir, can you move away from your giant bag? Because I can't scrap it. Oh my god. I can't. Are you. Yeah. I hate you. I hate you, Dell. Alright, so. Sure. We, so we. <laughs> oh, I was gonna try to do those other things. I don't know. Screw it. Let's go to the pit. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do this. That's. I, I have some. Wait. What? There you go. There you go. Good. Good job, buddy. Come on, let me in. And scrap. See ya. All right. So it wants me to put out. What did it want me to put out now? The I know like the raider. The raider. What is this one? Sam. Who the hell is Sam? Light. It's a light ally. <laughs> so not even. Wanderers, Foragers, Beckett's, Raider, yeah, Raider Punk Radio, I'm almost positive, is one of them. So, I don't know. Right? I swear that was one of the quests. Yeah. Well, why is it... Why is it... Why is it not going away? Alright, so is he gonna come running? Yeah, I have no idea how long Pit takes. Alright, what's up? Listening is the key to life. Gotta focus. Okay, can that quest go away off my list now, please? I heard I see that you've set up my radio, so I can get started. I already have one tip that I picked up before I left Crater. But first, let me explain what I can do for you, since I'm staying here and all. I'm uh gonna let you in on the real Appalachia, my friend. Okay. You lucked out because I'm part of a secret network that monitors unusual things and we track them down. And I'm gonna slide some of that information your way. Uh, so what's today's hot tip? Can I join this network? What should I expect from the network? How does the network work exactly? What's in it for me? Yeah, what's in it for me? Aside from expanding your mind and understanding the true Appalachia, you mean? I mean, sometimes you can find some valuable stuff there because people have avoided these places for a while. Okay. How does the network work exactly? Oh, our team is all over the place. They report odd things, sometimes on the radio or in encoded notes, and sometimes direct from psychics. Ooh, psychers, huh? Uh, what info should I expect from the network? Well, I get tips about strange creatures and unusual items in Appalachia. 
This place is crawling with cryptids, you know. I did know that, actually. Can I join this network? No way. Sorry, friend. It's a uh, selective group of like-minded individuals, and it takes years to build up their trust. Okay, so what's today's hot tip? I picked this one up from the network before leaving Crater. Thought it would be a good one for you to chomp down on first. There's apparently a broken device out there that could be helpful for the network if we can fix it up. I know where it is. I just need you to pick it up. Oh boy, a fetch quest! How amazing! Just give me the location, I'm good to go. Why can't your network take care of this themselves? What am I looking for? Anything dangerous? Mm, I'll be honest with you, friend. I heard some sort of infested corpse pile birthed a ton of insects. Really grotesque shit, my friend. Oh. Probably nothing left by now, either. Except the stink and a ton of blood bugs or ticks or something. So, I don't know. Bring a giant fly swatter? Flames? Run quickly in and out before they get you too. Yeah, we're probably going with that one. Uh, what exactly am I looking for? One of the hunters who reports to the network said there's a broken cryptid monitor at this place. We might be able to fix it up and use it. Of course, it might be junk or some misidentified gadget, but it's worth checking out. I also said the pit. I didn't mean the pit. I meant Atlantic City. <laughs> um, just give me the location, man. Swell. Once you've dealt with that, I'll start giving you regular tips from the network. Should be pretty, uh, pretty rad. Good luck out there, friendo. If you can't do it right now, then just swing by another time. I'll keep tabs on it for you. No, we'll go. We'll go do it right now. Of course, it's dark out. All right, where are we going? Where Where are we going? This way. We are going to Dent and Sons Construction. Okay. Nine caps. Sure, whatever. Yes, yes. Don't rub it in. I already spent two hundred thirty caps on that thing. I didn't even read yet. Let me let me read that before I forget. All right, immediately a blood bug right there. All right. I really wish I could have killed it in one shot. Are we playing a game? Oh my god. All right. Yeah, well, so we've been here before, and this is fine. We'll just get in, grab it, and get out. We don't need to kill anything, really. I mean, I'll grab the baseball grenade. And that's it. We're out. Ridiculous. Grab some meat while I'm here, I guess. cook that up so I guess that's how this is gonna work it's gonna it's gonna stay here until I complete all of his quests so I guess that's gonna be the same for the forager I kind of feel like that minor locker thing is bothering me a little bit can we can we do that one where is it? This general direction. Oh, literally, like... At the Hornwright testing site. Eight caps. Flushing those caps right down the toilet. If you're new to the channel, Dozo Roche going to Gaijamas. Welcome at uh, episode 109. A little weird. If you're new to the series, same thing. Hajime Master. No. Agitator presence detected no. near breach site. No. Location must be clear before breach can occur. No. I don't want to do this. Get off of my list. I don't. No. Goodbye. I just want to do 
I know an event's happening here. I don't care. We're just going to go in. We're trying to clear. We are trying to clear my list of quests. We're not even going to... We're not even going to fuss with him. Nope. The locker most likely should be in here. I'm thinking. Isn't this the, like, the locker right, right here? Yep. There we go. So we should be able to go... And that's one more off the list. What's with find a camera, though? What is with find a camera? I don't understand find a camera. No, you're in my way. Get out of here. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Oh, there's even there's even more. <laughs> Everywhere I turn, there's more. All right, let's try to get away from them. And then we're going in this direction. Where are we going? Yeah, I want to do the pit. I don't think we're going to... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it makes any sense to even try to do it. Oh, this is really far away. All right, let's go to 76. We do have a lot of things to talk about, like the Fallout TV show. I finished watching the Fallout TV show, and um, considering how much of a fan of Fallout I am, and considering how much a fan specifically of Fallout New Vegas I am, considering it's my favorite game of all time. Oh my god. Did that feel like... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like a love letter to Fallout fans? A love letter to... Am I sneaking? Yeah, I don't know why I'm sneaking. To Fallout New Vegas fans, the the even the, the things at the the credits at the end. Was uh it was so great. It was so great. I just um I whew, did I cry? Yeah, I'm a big sappy baby. So I cried. And earlier in the day. I had watched my favorite YouTuber. Uh, he had done a top 50 list of his all-time games. All-time top 50 list. And I know he's a big New Vegas fan. And he's going through the list and he's going through the list and going through the list. And we're getting closer and closer and closer to number one. And the whole time I'm like, he hasn't done New Vegas yet. He hasn't done New Vegas yet. He hasn't done New Vegas yet. We get to the top three... And I'm like, like I know he likes it, but I had no idea that he liked it as as much as as me. Say for example, so like I said, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Why does it look like it's floating in the air? There's normally ghouls around here. Or at least last time I was here, there was ghouls around here. But I'm confused about it floating and bouncing. Or no, wait, it's bouncing because I'm moving. That's weird. So he gets down to the final two, and. Number two was not Fault in New Vegas. So as soon as he did that, then I knew number one was going to be Fault in New Vegas. And I, I, again, I'm sappy. I kind of teared up again. I was just like, oh, his favorite game is my favorite game. We both have the same favorite game. We're like twins. Lighthouse Souvenir. I don't, okay. I don't know what that is. Why am I looking for a camera? For what purpose? Is my pit boy light on? It is. It just doesn't seem like. Can I bring these over to frost? I need. I need more sanity and frost. I don't even. You're just kind of right in my way. I like how it gave me my arrow back. All right. So where? Where is this camera? Now, I've been up here before. Oh, a stealth boy that I don't need, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. Ceramic bowl. Brother Moncrief's note. I mean, I'm sure I've read this before. Hi, priestess. I was right. The fireflies come here to mate. They go a little crazy, and I got hurt pretty badly. I was able to gather enough goo to light the lamp 
Now I just have to wait. Oh, Great Mothma will come. He has to. Okay, maybe I didn't read that. I don't know. Where is where is this floating camera? I don't understand. Annie's holotape. Boy, not Annie. Anne's. Anne's holotape. My bucket list. Broken Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Oh. Funny how things work out. Sometimes it seems like life's got a cruel sense of humor. And I came out here from San Fran to go to school at VTU. I thought this place was antiquated, filled with ignorant hillbillies. They hated it. Eventually, I, I guess I got over myself. Turns out people are people. Brains aren't regional, and our, our birthplace doesn't define us. I decided that once I graduated, I'd really explore West Virginia. I'd go out there and be a photojournalist, just like I've always dreamed. I made a list of all the places I wanted to see, but then the bombs fell. <coughs> and I guess now it's a bucket list, because I don't think I've got much time left. Party. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. All right, so so. Thank you for your cooperation. Shush, robot lady. So I feel like they're boning me here. <laughs> it's like they know that that I'm trying to wrap this up, and they're like, "Here, let's give you a quest where you have to go to a million different places." Thank you. Thank you for from find a camera. Oh my God! Thank you, seventy six. Seriously, thank you. hilarious. Alright, so I don't think we're gonna make it to Atlanta City this episode because now we have to go take pictures. Come on! Pictures? I don't even remember where it said. A tinkerer's workshop, I guess. Uh, craft. Yeah, it's, dude, it's literally on the screen. Just read. It says craft a camera at the tinkerer's workbench. Just read! Jesus! Alright. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's... Why does it have its own category? Oh my god, why does it have its own category? Are you seriously saying I don't have adhesive? Who the hell is Davenport? How do I not have adhesive? How do I... How do I not have adhesive? What are you doing in my bed? Get out of my bed. Your bed's over there. One of the psychics in the network predicted you'd return with it. Guess he was right. Nice. So, I think that's really all the proof I need. You can handle at least some stuff. I can work with that. Tell you what, I've been monitoring the radio chatter, and I'm gonna find something else for you. Might take a bit of time, though. I'll be back later for another tip. Thanks, Punk. When will you have something else for me to check oh, out? Maybe a day or so. Oh, my that God. That would be much longer than that. So, I can't even just bang his stuff out. They really don't want me to finish. Sorry, if you're not sure. <laughs> if you're not sure why I'm trying to finish this. Fault London comes out on the 23rd of April. Today is... I don't even know what today is. It's like the 13th or something like that. So I have like 10 days. And I wanted to be as close to done with 76 as possible. Either way it's going. Either I'm going to be done or it's going on hiatus. Because the day that uh, London comes out, I'm downloading it. And trying to immediately start doing some episodes for it. <sighs> Will you always have some weird leads for me? Yeah, probably. I investigate a few things on my own, in addition to the network sources. And I have a couple contacts.
contacts who stop by from time to time. So, you know, give me some time in between visits, but you should be able to scrounge up something pretty regularly. Probably every day. So he can only give you one quest a day. But we don't have time to investigate one of your leads. So what's your, so what's your name? Most of us don't use our real names once we join the network. My code name is Punk. That's good enough for me. All right, CM Punk. I I hate you. Thanks for the tip. Good work there, friendo. Remember, mum's the word about the network. We're a selective group. Got it. Got it. Alright, was that explosion like really nearby? Why did it seem so loud? It's like nowhere... It's all the way over in Cranberry Town. In Dingleberryville over here. What? Seriously, why was it acting like it was here? How do I not have adhesive? Oh my god. And now give me a Gauss rifle. I'm using a Gauss Rifle in America Rising 2. Come on. Jesus Lord. Alright. I mean, at least I got the camera off the list, but then it gave me... Oh my god. Now that I've impaired the tour sandwich, I should visit each location and take a photograph but I'm assuming I need how does it I'm still confused I how do I not have adhesive that's mind-boggling to me I went right past where I'm supposed to be I always have adhesive I always have everything I had so much junk in here, as a matter of fact, that... What is a lighthouse souvenir? It's literally a lighthouse. Alright, fine. Store it. How do I not have adhesive? I don't Listening. even... Is the key to life. Okay. Got to focus. I don't even. My mind is completely boggled that I don't have adhesive. Okay, let's. I mean, I, it's already here. Let's go buy some adhesive. If you are regular, like Isabella, like Daniel, like anybody else that I don't know because you don't comment. Oh, Kyrie Nisai. Welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Betty, put on some clothes. Alright. Um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna use pumpkin grenades. I don't even remember what I got them from. Um Spoil. You can have my hot dogs, Betty. Not like that. Don't be nasty. Plus, if I'm messing around with a ghoul, it's going to be Penny Hornwright. You already know that. Alright. Caramel mutt fruit. See ya. Alright. I don't use Fury. I don't use Med X. I don't even want the Stealth Boy. I don't... You stup stup stupid stim packs, super stim packs. I don't know why I have so many of these. All right, trying to make my money back. All right, get rich quick. I need to read that. All right. Oh, I forgot. Does she have adhesive? I didn't even check. Um. No. She does have plastic. I'm gonna have to travel around to get adhesive to take freaking pictures. Ah, I kill you. Oh no! All right, let's read that note before I forget again. Oh my god! All right, I do have some film, but like, how many films? I don't. I. I'm old enough to have used, you know, cameras with film in it, but 
I don't remember how many capacity six. So it's six shots. So I'm going to need more than one to even do the seven. Where's that? Here, let's read this. I hate, I hate this game. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha so funny! Yeah, alright. Freaking. Alright, what, what am, what am I, wait, um, <laughs> I'm so messed up now. Um, do I have the ammo I need for the weapons that I have? Yes, yes, yes. Um, sure. Whatever. There we go. Dirty water, sure, I don't care. And, um... Cream. Cash rules everything around me. Cream gets the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Alright, that's good enough. So... Does it give me quest markers? Or do I have to remember... No, oh, it does give me quest markers. Well, that's... That's good. I still need adhesive. So that means... Oh, this is so... Ridiculous. Let's go, um... Let's go to White Spring. It's probably... But I don't even normally like doing this in an episode, but I didn't know this was what I was going to have to do. So let's get... Hopefully some adhesive. As quick as we can. Do you have some adhesive? Can I, can I sell him this note? Is this note worth... <laughs> it's only worth 15 caps. You son of a bee. Alright, do you have any adhesive? Please say yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's going to be so much. <laughs> I hate it. Alright, so I can make freaking... <sighs> so I can make film. Where's the tinkerer's workbench? So I can make film. I don't know. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. That's 12 pictures. I have a feeling like once I take the six, it's gonna be like, take more. So what does the camera come up as? Like a, as a weapon? Yes. Okay. So it's a if it's considered a weapon, can I can I upgrade it? Is that possible? Of course not. All right. Well, while I'm in here, I don't even feel like I've used this that much. I can't. All right. Whatever. Yep. Fine. Whatever. What else? The bow, I saw I needed it. There we go. Okay. Everything else is good. Might as well check my armor real quick while I'm in here too, so that way I don't get surprised. Where's... Somebody stole an armor workbench. Okay, that's new. I didn't even know that was possible. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Let's try that again. I want to modify my armor, please. Thank you. Yes, this one. I would like to inspect, repair it. Yes, a workbench repair. Thank you. All right. We got some film. We got camera. I'm stealthy. May I be of assistance? Seriously, who's Davenport? Why does it... Why does it keep wanting me to talk to Davenport? Who the hell is Davenport? Where is this Davenport quest? What is this? 
It's a daily miscellaneous quest. Who the, the White hell is... Spring is under our protection. I know. Shut up. All right, let's go do some some bucket list. I like the idea of a bucket list in real life. <laughs> Trying to stop my complaining. Um Unfortunately, like if I made a bucket list, it would be a lot of things that cost money that I don't have to do. So it would just be like a few. It would just be like a futile reminder of all the things that I can't actually do in real life. So I don't know why that would be fun. All right, sometimes there's like a cool, like boss monster out in the woods over here. Hey. Oh my god, I have the camera loaded. I forgot. Anybody over here? No? Yeah, right there. It's a... It's a death claw. It's a death claw. Alright, maybe... Can I put my bow on? Alright, where is he? Get out from... Like, I see him. Come on. Oh, that didn't even tickle him. It did do... What the... How did I miss? Yeah, just stand right there and keep letting me shoot you. Oh, no. Throwing rocks at me. Where did ghouls come from? This ghoul's getting in on the fight. That's hilarious. Alright, that was fun. Okay, so where should we go on the map first? I can't believe he gave me a disease by was it he's throwing he was throwing his poop at me wasn't he that's what it was it was he's throwing it I, I said rocks it was his poop nasty ass death claws all right um where are we going here what's the what's the closest what where I swear there was I swear there was okay they're all over here okay all right, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Um, trying to think of what's thirty caps. No, thank you. Um, bu 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 bu. so I can go to Fort Atlas. And it will cost less since I just spent a thousand caps on adhesive. Holy Jesus! Now remember, I'm very cheap in the first place and in the second place the more caps I have the better damage my arrows do so that hurt me in two different ways <laughs> it hurt me in two different ways all right so dolly sods wilderness is that the first one no the first one is the pumpkin house sure so theoretically I should be able to get in here Take a picture and get out of here, I guess. I don't know. Alright. I am hidden, so photograph the front of the pumpkin house. Well, that's what I'm looking at. Oh, wait. Can I just flip? No, that looks like a gun. No, that's the camera. It is the camera. Okay. So, do I have to zoom, or can I just... This is so weird. Okay. And... Then I just... Okay, I guess that was it. Weird. 
Now, don't I have a quest for talking to this dude? Or am I hallucinating that? I swear for the longest time I had a quest. Maybe it was a... A daily one? Because I could do like a whole episode of daily quests, you know, sometime in the far future. I mean, that could be kind of fun and silly. Speak with Jack at the pumpkin house. So, yeah. I did remember that was in there. Alright, so anyway, we're not doing that. Next... Um, can't. Like, how, how are they boning me here? I want to fast travel here. Alright, fine. I won't, I won't, I won't fast travel there. Fine. We'll just, we'll just walk. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's not that far away. Yeah, the pumpkin house is cool if you've never been here before. I've been here once before. It reminds me, I'm sure lots of places had the same type of event where they have a bunch of pumpkins carved and you could pay money to go walk around like a maze or something and check out all the various pumpkins that different people have carved and stuff. It's kind of fun if you're into that type of stuff. I was just looking for more arrows, honestly. Yeah, so we're going to, I think we're to the red rocket right over there. And that red rocket was full of robots the last time I was here. Alright, who's that? Alright, a friendly Brotherhood of Steel. So yes, the Brotherhood of Steel TV show, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. I highly, highly recommend it. I even trying to get one of my best friends, uh, or my best friend to watch it. Even though he's not a video, this is my place, my mission. Not a video game guy at all, and doesn't know anything about Fallout. My wife really enjoyed it as well, and she's only familiar. My light's not been on this whole time, damn it. Only familiar with Fallout from you know me, so but really isn't. Once says isn't like a big fan. Like I'm like she doesn't dislike it, but she's not like an avid, you know, fan. She wasn't like super super hyped. For the show. She was probably more excited for me for the show than anything else and really just hoping that I was going to enjoy it and not get frustrated with it because they changed arbitrary things and did weirdness and I, I have like zero complaints. Literally. I don't like nothing like normally I could be like nitpicking and it's just, just nothing that feels worth being nitpicky over. Alright, so where what exactly am I supposed to be taking a picture of the sign? I mean, it is a cool sign. I don't know what I'm. All right. Yeah, the sign. Okay. This is again. This is like I feel like they, they talk about ripping things off. I feel like they ripped off <laughs> New Vegas here because this is 100% a uh, quest that exists in New Vegas. So I don't know. Boom. Done. Next. We're just going to keep going down the road, basically. Uh, who is this? Freddy Fierce. Alright, we've been there multiple times. Last time I was there it was to fight a Wendigo in a clown suit, which I did not do during an episode because, really, come on. Just ridiculous. I can kill a Wendigo. You've seen me kill Wend Wendigos. I could put on a clown suit. So yes, I could kill a Wendigo in a clown suit. And I did it. In between episodes. And just got rid of it. Because it, it, it just felt silly. I will happily take that Quantum. And that regular Nuka-Cola. Thank you. Is that another Nuka Cola sitting over there, or is that an empty bottle? Sometimes it's hard for me to tell. That is a Nuka Cola. Thank you. Like, this is a location. Like I've passed here multiple times, 
but I've never actually done anything here. So I see it has the, the hammer and the wrench, so I, this is one of those places I guess you can take over and defend it. So it's kind of like a, a PvP location, I guess? I don't know, I've never done PvP. I, I Nobody bothers me, I don't bother anybody. It's a lot, 76 is a lot more chill than I thought it was going to be in regards to like other player players hassling me and bothering me when I was playing like like early on like two years ago. It's not quite two years yet, but it's getting close. Um, when I when I first started playing this, I was like, I don't want to play because people are going to bother me. And that's not, not how I want to play Fallout. Like I want to get just completely immersed in a story in a universe and just play and not have to deal with just anybody being jerky or whatever and even when you do the events for the most part most people are just pretty much chill they don't really bother you you can do your own thing and get rewards and bounce right out you don't you know it's not nothing's forced upon you so from that aspect you know my original feelings about what i thought 76 were gonna be were definitely wrong and uh, it's not that bad. You know, there's, there's definitely a lot of other things about 76 that you know I don't like, but that is not one of them. Can I harvest? Now, why would I not be able? To, this is. These are clearly beautiful logs, and I can't get wood from these logs. Like, are you serious? So, what am I taking a picture of here? There's normally a bunch of ghouls, and almost always a Wendigo here. All right, so photograph the storefront. Okay, so if I cut across over here, and I mean, I try to be pretty good at framing. That's one of the things I always try to do when I'm recording and stuff is I want to make sure that like characters are in the right frame and stuff like that. So I mean. This feels good-ish. I mean, if it was a real picture, I'd probably be much more anal about it. But yeah, there's the Wendigo right there. It was a glowing one when I killed it. Now, I was testing out some new weapons at that time, and it did not go particularly well, but I still killed it in the clown suit. Like, I'm curious if I went... See, there's just too many. The, the ghouls would get in the way of me trying to do stuff and things here. What what were you doing, bro? Are you twerking? Seriously, where Where are they? Alright. I, I don't know where they just went. Why did they all just run inside the building? It took him out without much of a problem. Where's the other one? Yeah, I'll just keep hiding behind here. Because they're not smart enough to figure out how to get to me. And where is the Wendigo? Let's see how many shots it will take to kill him. Oh, a lot. My AP's out. He's confused though, he doesn't know where to go. Where'd he go? Is he hiding in the bushes? I really wish my AP would stop running out. Please come out of the bushes. Yeah, stealth archer. I should have just stealth archered him. Ridiculous. Look at that. No problem at all. If I had just been a stealth archer. Oh my god. Who knew? Not me.
there's some of my caps back. Not a, not <laughs> not a thousand back, but all right. I'll take all these arrows. I'm just gonna keep banking these arrows. Maybe if I sell them, I can get some stuff back. I'll take the fiberglass. Uh, what else? Screws. Sure. Sure. Yep. How heavy is it? Two pounds? Sure. Potato? Alright. Cool. Let's get out of here. Where are we going next? Slow and steady. Steady and slow. That's the way we're going to go. Alright. So if we go to Dolly Sod's Wilderness... Six caps. Bye, six caps. I missed you. I love you. Don't forget to call and write. But yeah, if you wanna, you wanna talk about uh, seventy six. Uh, seventy six. If you wanna talk about the Fallout show at all, uh, just, just let me know. Let uh, let me know what you think. Let me let me know if there's something you didn't like. Um. Something that you did like. Photograph the front of the Dolly Sots cabin. Alright, so again, we're gonna kinda swing down here. And um This is a little harder. Alright, let's kinda go. Oh, it would have been cool to get the Agua in there, honestly. I should have did that. All right, but he's not interested in me. I'm not interested in him. Yeah, I'd be curious to see some complaints. I saw some people... That's all, folks. Some people complaining that they felt like that they retconned or um, changed some of the canon in regards to New Vegas. And I don't feel like that's what they were saying at all. They had the whole thing where they showed the chalkboard... And they talked about um, Shady Sands falling at 2277. And then they showed an arrow pointing, you know, obviously indicating past that date. Saying at some point in time after 2277, that's when, well, I don't know. Don't want to spoil things. That's when something happened. <laughs> that um, would cause people to possibly say that they were changing the canon for New Vegas because New Vegas starts in 2281 so only four years after that so if they're saying the the thing that occurred it could have been any time between 2281 or 2282 and 2296, which is when the Fallout show is supposed to be taking place. If, if, if I'm not messing that up and I got, got all the, the dates correct, which I, I think I did. Here, speaking of which, birdie birdies somewhere. Where are we going? Yep, kind of straight. What are you guys doing? Has there ever been a... Talk about canon explanations. Has there ever been a canon explanation in 76 for what the hell these things are supposed to be? The vertebrates, obviously, they say strategic air command vertebrate, but what? What is that? Strategic air command for who? Anyway. But as I said, I, I don't have anything else to uh, complain about. But the other big thing that I'm super excited about is London. And again, there's not much else to say other than it's coming out on the 23rd. I'm going to try to get it running. And, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's going to be a brand new drop. So we don't know what sort of problems or issues there might be. But we'll find out when we find out. All right, where does it want me to go here exactly? But as long as I can get it running and going, I will start, um, I'm going to try to record a, uh, more than one episode on the first day because on the 25th, two days later, uh, Fallout 4 is going to be updating and probably breaking all the mods, including, most likely, Fallout London. 
pretty much anything that uses the script extend script extender which is my nightmare of what I was having the problem with with uh, Skyrim I uploaded a 15 minute episode of uh, Skyrim uh, the my if series interesting immersive and forgotten because um, it kept crashing when I was doing all kinds of different things it was very frustrating very annoying and it all came back to SKSE was not functioning correctly and uh, I was having a difficult time diagnosing what exactly the problem was and since I couldn't exactly figure out what the problem was you can't figure out the problem is you can't fix the problem so that was sort of the situation was uh, trying to fix something what is this by the way what am I taking a picture of here Berkeley Springs Castle I mean I don't know a, there's a lot of grass and stuff in the way here Is this the front? This is like more like the side. All right, hold on. I feel like that would have counted if I did it. Let me see if I can get in the front front without getting all this trees and yeah, you know, there's just trees and nonsense in the way. Um, I kind of hate that angle. Like I would not want to do this in real life. Seriously, um, I've not really seen a lot of choices though. Can I get on top of this bus? Probably not. I swear to Pip-Boy light does not seem bright enough for some reason. I got your ball. Dropped your ball. Skelly. Skelly jelly. All right, can I get up here? No. 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 Alright, what if I jump off of this pile of dirt? Why would that not work? This definitely looks high enough. Am I hitting the, uh... Alright, there we go. Halfway there. There we go. Alright. Uh... Oh god. <sighs> Wasn't super super happy with that, but what what can I do? All right. So where are we going next? Yeah, this is kind of fun. I don't dislike this. I just wish I had known that this is what this was going to be earlier on. I would have definitely done things like had the uh, the uh, film ready to go in between episodes. It's my fault, but I don't know till I know. That's that's the blind part. It's, it's again 109 episodes in. I'm unless I have to, I'm still not looking things up. For me, can I get over there? Yeah, that's not that far away. It takes the fun away a lot if I look things up and I know exactly what's happening. I hear a Scorch Beast. Attention! This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up to end, including death if you remain in the area. Where's the scorch notice required by law? Alright. So what if I just for funsies I do have my other weapons with me. Um like this bad boy. Where'd he go? What? Where'd he go? And what happened to the robots? What did... I kind of wanted to play with him a little bit. 
to test out the weapons. I don't understand what happened. He was here, the robots were fighting him, and then he just jetted? Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't do anything about it if he left. That's super odd to me. That he would just disappear. Alright. I, I don't know. You're fine. Relax. Please don't be dramatic. Alright. Well, now the camera's not gonna... There we go. Yeah, I wanted to see what, some of the, what kind of damage some of the newer uh, guns would do to the scorch beast. It would just be a tickle? And just tickling them? Or we actually would do, you know, something. Because right now I have uh, Final Word with me which I played with a little bit in between episodes. I got the Medic's Auto Grenade Launcher. Not what I wanted. <laughs> Definitely not what I wanted, but it's uh, light. Because this thing is normally like a ridiculous amount of weight. So it allows me to carry a gun that does a lot of damage and is an automatic grenade launcher. There you go, Daniel, an automatic grenade, but I, I made that. I made, because I can make automatic grenade launchers, I made a bunch of them and I ended up using up all of my legendary cores, all of my scripts. I was trying to get just a decent freaking grenade launcher with some decent legendary stats and I made like 10 of them and that was the best one I got. What am I taking a picture of here? Inside? What am I taking a picture of? Photograph Harper's Ferry Armory Courtyard. It wants me to go up? Well, I can't go up in here. There's no up in here. Oh, I've been here before. I remember. Okay. Um... To be honest with you, I don't remember exactly how to get in here, but I know I've been here before. Photograph the Harper's Ferry Armory Courtyard. I'd rather not do it through the fence. I know it does, probably doesn't even matter. Uh... Am I going to be able to access this without getting jumped? What? 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 What's happening? What is happening? What? And caution from who? And what just blew up? Seriously. Okay. Can you can you let me inside? I don't I don't even really want to be inside, but can you let me inside? I swear I've been in here. Okay. I'll just take a picture through the fence. You're gonna be jerky with me. Liars! Alright, so there's... <sighs> so there's... And I'm not seeing them. Because I just ran into another one. So <laughs> There's mines around here, apparently. So... Alright, I guess we're just taking a picture through the fence. Because I, I don't... I don't really understand... If I can't get in there. Mm. 
then what, what other choice do I have? Let's see if I can do my, my zoo trick. Well, it looks like no. Sometimes in the zoo I'll place... If they have this type of fence, I will place the... Because I use a real camera. Not a phone camera. I'm not a heathen. I will place my um, lens of my camera through the fence. So that way I can get a shot without getting the fence in the shot. But that's apparently not going to be a thing here. Right? This is going to be the worst picture I've taken. But it counted, so screw it. Whatever. If they, if they think that counts, then who am I to question it? All right, we're not that far away. We might as well just take a trip down here. Get stuck on a rock immediately. Oh, this is water. Uh... Where am I actually going? Oh, the mall. We've been to the mall many times. All right, what if we just go across here? Yeah, this is fine. But sometimes there's a death claw around here, so maybe be slightly more cautious, sir. Just a wee little bit. Just in case. I have 100% encountered a death claw around here. And I still have the disease from the last death claw that I encountered that threw his poop at me. Yes, this is not at all what I intended on doing this episode, but whatever, it's, it's fine. I thought Atlantic City. I was going to try to do my my original original plan plan a was i was going to bang out the raider stuff and then the forager stuff whatever stuff was there for those two things the camera i wanted to get rid of all of the miscellaneous quests and i thought i'd be able to do those quickly <laughs> uh and then i was going to move on to atlantic city and then I would just have the pit and, uh... Oh, hi! Whoa, 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 what's been a Rooney there? Alright, here's a good chance. I wanted to do it against a, uh... Alright, let's see. Let me get in position. I want to do it against a Scorch Beast, but the Hermit Crabs are they're pretty... Big and tanky. Oh, how did he get me? How? Alright, so that didn't go super well for me. The reload's kind of unnecessarily long. All right, let's, um, final word. Where do you go now? Let's try final word. So I guess the problem with that was that that took all my stealth away, and then I am made out of toilet paper. So once you take my stealth away, then I am flimsy and can't take any sort of hits at all. All right, so where is he now? I don't want to lose him. Seriously, where where did he go? He went up the mountain? Where, where did he go? Come on now. Seriously, where is he? 
He's a giant crab. How did I lose him? This is ridiculous. Giant crab! Where are you? Somehow I lost you, even though you're a giant crab. I don't even... Like... Is that a death claw? Why is there... <laughs> Why is there a death claw down there? Oh my god. I still want to know where... Hey, Hermit! There you are. Alright, the Death Claw can try to pass to me in the meantime. Please just use a stim pack. Thank you. And I fell again. Falling again, not super... Not super helpful. At all. And I said there was a death claw around here. So now I pissed them both off. So let's see. Somehow I'm not dead yet. I don't know how that's possible, but... All right, well, there's the death claw. Probably should have reloaded before I came up here. Well, that was fun. I don't think it does that bad. Not, not maybe not the best or the smartest idea to go at it with a death call right in my face. All right, let's try black powder rifle. Black Pride Rifle still feels like the winner. Am I crazy? Now granted, I have already done a lot of damage on him, but I feel like I would have, would have, could have, should have taken him out there. If I had not. Already done that damage on if I had been a little stealthy. Now there's a crab guy gone now. He's just he's, he's bounced. He doesn't want to play with me anymore. There you are. Alright, why are you full health though? Alright, does he not know where I am? He does not know where I am currently. Why are you full health? I do not appreciate that. Turn around. All right, so shoot him in the butt. Not that smart. All right, can he get to me? That was in the face. That had to be a little bit better, right? The world's loudest gun. Does it do better if I'm closer? Well, now I'm in danger. Ah! 
Alright. Yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> I hate how slow it is. But at the same time, I feel... I, like, I wish I could put a silencer on it. <laughs> That's probably not a thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I could put a silencer on this, it would be insane. But uh, yeah, again, I, I don't know. I, uh, Final Word was underwhelming. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it might be good against not one-on-one -on -one bosses. Like if there's like groups of like uh, super mutants coming at me or something like that. Maybe. Alright, anyway. How far are we from the last location? Very close. Mr. Gallery, let's just run. We encountered a uh, hermit crab on the way to Galleria previously. <gasps> oh, hiccup. I don't know where that came from. Alright, so what am... Oh, it wants me to go inside. Yeah, I just realized it wants me to go inside. Why? Why inside? All right, this is just normally boring, generic scorched around here. Although I have encountered some spooky scorched here in the past, but that was during spooky times. So I don't know. I'll probably just be regular scorched. I don't see any reason why there would be spooky scorched here now. And they spawn in weirdly, because there we go. All right, so there's a leader. All right, who else do we got? Can I... I missed 72%. All right, Jesus. All right, there we go. 95. Done. Another leader. Oh. What happened? AP run out? Or because he went behind cover for a second? A conqueror! 72%. Let's see. Could you please get out of hiding, please? What happened? I'm out of AP again. Oh. <sighs> All right, with you taking cover, it's getting super annoying now. Come on out, baby. How'd I miss? Again. Done. All right. Let's see if they gave me some of my arrows back. Because I actually took more arrows than usual. Why do we need a picture inside the mall, Anne? Why? The place is full, full of scorched. It's full of something. That's for sure. So you guys ended up hanging out with each other. How cute. Combat rifle. I mean, I'm almost over encumbered as it is. Uh, I'll take it. Jacob's holotape. I'm... I had to have already played this before, haven't I? <laughs> Fuck you, Charlie! Yes. I made it! <laughs> I'm alive! And I made it out of that godforsaken shithole of a mall! Woo! I got daylight to burn, but I'm heading to Harper's Ferry. I even found a few goddamn flowers for Ella! <laughs> They may not be the right ones, but I ain't coming back empty-handed. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. And once I'm back, Charlie Walker is a dead man. Once I get my hands on him, I'm gonna...
Yes, we 100% have already listened to this. Yeah, what am I thinking? Uh, the skylight. I expect to see your face out here, Jakey. What's that? Anyway. Oh no! Just Don't the ceiling? On my Tell you what, I'll take these here flowers and I'll be selling for recording. Okay. All you gotta do is die. <laughs> Figured you'd be on board. Okay. So No, why is this here? Why? <laughs> if I cleared enemies that are infesting Berkeley Springs the workshop is mine for taking No, I don't want to do that. Why is that there? Let's go speak to Oscar and Zoss. I don't know who the hell that is either. Why does it why is that putting that as a side quest? I'm not doing that. I do not want to take any of those places. Thank you. Happy birthday. See ya. No, thank you. This episode is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Cream. Mm -mm -mm. That mannequin flipple jipping out over there. Oh, no, the mannequins are all standing back up again, huh? Yeah? Yeah? feel about mannequins. Freaking mannequins. Any other mannequins? Is that all of you? Alright. Fast travel to... Crater. Yeah, who the hell is Oscar Gonzalez? Seriously. I get these quests and I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what this is. And this is a newer quest. Maybe I'll remember once I talk to Oscar Gonzalez. Oh, he's inside too? Somebody needs to say their hands are bleeding? Nice mask. Irie hooked me up with some pretty sweet mods. Attempt to win that bet against Guns, search. guns, guns. The most disappointing thing in the game. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I came here to get Fisher comes across cool. But... Guns, 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 and there was there was no there was no guns and guns, guns, guns. That's one of my fondest memories of this game. And I do mean that as sarcastically as humanly possible. Who the hell are you? Seriously. Don't be afraid to live a little, alright? No, thank you. Hey! Hey, you! You seen a guy? Kind of a squirrely guy with big sunglasses running around. Uh, balding. Says he's a journalist. Uh, you could be describing anybody. Lie. Kind of wacko. Hot up on chems. Um, I... Uh, you could be describing anybody. Anybody? Just how many hungover, balding, chem addicted journalists do you know? Listen, my name is Oscar Gonzalez. I'm in some hot water with uh, some people. But my friend, Jack Hunter, he's chasing some story for his damn magazine. Now, I don't want to leave my friend alone out there in the wilderness, but I'm running out of time. We gotta split, you see? So, I've got a job for you. If you're up for it, you go find my friend. Make sure he's safe and bring back any sign that he's alive. Do that, and I've got caps with your name on them. What do you think? Yeah, whatever, man. I recovered from shell shock, finally. I can't say no to someone in need. I'll do it. Caps for me? That's all you had to say. Tell me more about this friend of yours. Who are you running away from? Who are you running away from? You really think I'm going to trust you with that information? Ooh, only a plus four check. I could actually do this one. If I'm going to go looking for a friend, I need to know what I'm, who I'm up against. Let's just say I lost one too many games of poker. 
and took out one too many loans. And I may have called a raider to a name that I shouldn't have. In other words, nothing for you to worry about looking for Jack. But if you if you have an issue with raiders, why are you literally sitting in the core of the raider's base? Oh, tell me more about this friend. Jack is a human hurricane. I've done my fair share of living, but Jack is something else. He'll take you right up to the edge. But you never know if he's gonna push you off or pull you back. At first, you might think he's a psychopath, and there's some truth to that. But underneath it all, he has an insight into everything that no one else has. He cuts through to the heart of things. Maybe that's what brings on the madness. He sees things for what they are. He's one of a kind. Which is why I don't want him shivved to death in the mountains of Appalachia. Okay, yeah, sure. Capture me. Let's Good. do it. <laughs> I'm glad we speak the same language. Take this holotape. It's the only lead I have. Some kind of coded message. Guy is always doing stuff like this. this uh, maybe you can figure out what he's talking about. Uh, use it to track him down. Appreciate the help. Hell yeah. Always be upgrading. That's what Avery says. We All ditched right. Margie for Meg and that old ski slump for the crater. Who are you talking to? Too. We'd either be long dead or one of those scorched things if we'd stuck with Margie. All right, let's, let's get out of here. No kidding. I don't want to listen to the Raider NPC chatter. So this is a good place to wrap this episode up, though, because I can do some inventory stuff in between episodes. I'm already at a place where I would do inventory stuff. I normally do Nuka World for some reason. I don't even know why, because it's close to my camp, I guess. But maybe we'll listen to that tape real quick just to see what it says. I still don't believe I waste 230 caps. A lead at last. Dr. G, I hope this message finds you well. Closing in on my target, a big man called Little Rob. They say he lives somewhere in the mountains. Some kind of hideout. Now you might wonder who they are. I'm talking about people in the know. Squatters, prospectors, gold diggers. They say they've all had run-ins with the target. I met them in a shack up in the hills, near a golf course that's seen better days. But I was not there for the greens. We met up and made merry. Don't judge me. You're a merrymaker yourself, you know. They said they could take me to Rob. I decided to follow. Dangerous, I know, but you have to take some risks if you're gonna get the big score. It's just how it is in this business. I'll see you on the other side. Hunter, out. All right, well, that is what that is. We will pick up the next episode with that. Like I said, I'll do all the fun, fun inventory stuff as we slowly, ever so slowly, creep our way closer to the end of this series. This has been episode 109 of Fallout 76, Blind Death. And dumb, and I did die, and I definitely did dumb stuff, and there were still things that were blind, so I checked all of the boxes, this one. <laughs> Tomorrow is frost, if you're interested in that. Yesterday was dust, so we normally go Sunday is, actually not yesterday was not dust, yesterday was America Rising 2, so we normally go America Rising 2, Blind Death and Dumb, Frost, Narim, Enderol, the Skyrim modded series, if, with all the different mods, that's was causing me problems last week. And then Saturday is dust. Dusty roads. So if you're interested, please check out those other series. With all that being said, I am Loki the Mad Titan. I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so very much for watching. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now. Do it now. Not Sukau. Have a good night. See ya.